All right. Cool. All right. So I love the slogan because the future is here. Um, and we also mean that to mean the future is at Duke. Um, so the, the, the uh, Tech and Check Cooperative is a, uh, is a project that has some really basic goals to create pop-up fact-checking for TV and the web, um, to deploy ClaimBuster. ClaimBuster was this great algorithm. And so what we've done, is, as Katie mentioned, is get it to the fact-checkers. So every day, the fact-checkers at the AP, New York Times, Washington Post, PolitiFact, factcheck.org are getting these alerts, and they're fully automated. Um, and then we have the co-op. Um, Pablo mentioned this, where we get together with the technologists once a year. We bring them to Durham, and we talk about um, how we can all work together. Um, we've gotten some nice coverage. This was a story that ran in January uh, that sort of, a, sort of set a goal for me that said we're going to do this in time for election year, so that means I have to deliver. <laughs> Fortunately, the story ran in January and sort of gives me at least a year. Um, we also got some nice coverage from Brian Stelter, although this, um, because of this, um, it ended up crashing our app because we had so much demand for our Factstream app on State of the Union night that the app didn't work. So lesson uh, to self, um, when you get publicity, um, spin up more servers. Uh, so um, pop-up fact-checking we do in two different ways through our Factstream app. It's available now for iOS. Uh, you can download it, it's free. Um, but the, the cool thing that I'm going to talk about today is Squash. Um, Squash is a fully automated fact-checking system for TV and web video. We had not planned to make it public. Um, we were conducting a private test on the State of the Union night, but we had such a breakthrough that we decided to talk about it. Um, so it's built on um, the atomic unit of fact-checking, which is called Claim Review. Claim Review is a, a tagging system that we developed with Google and schema.org that most fact-checkers in the world are now using. When they publish a fact-check, they put this tag on their fact-checks or publish it to a database. And that allows Google, Facebook, uh, Bing to find fact-checks more easily. It also allows us to use the fact-checks in apps like Squash. So Claim Review is the secret sauce of automated fact-checking. It's essentially, you can see the code. Um, this is a visible, um, uh, what we call widget, that uh, was the first generation of Claim Review that we built at Duke. Uh, it was called Share the Facts. So um, one thing Claim Review does when it renders in Google Search, this, the fact checks are highlighted. They show up really nicely. They show up uh, in wonderful ways, and the fact checkers love the traffic they get from that. Um, Google has been a great partner in this, um, promoting fact checking in wonderful ways. When Google puts these fact checks high in search results, when it puts them on Google News, the fact checkers see lots more traffic, and that has been a tremendous boost to getting accurate content to people and to, um, uh, and to boosting the audience for fact checks. So we're very proud um, that that came out of our Claim Review product. Um, Claim Review users in the United States, uh, here are the four main ones. Um, uh, we worked uh, directly with the Washington Post, PolitiFact, and factcheck.org. The New York Times has just started using it. Um, but again, this is key. To be able to do automation, they need to use claim review with their fact checks because that's what allows us to tap it. Um, I'm going to skip past Factstream because I'm so excited to tell you about uh, Squash. But first, I'm going to tell you about the red couch experiments. So one thing we've discovered, nobody has looked at this before. If you're going to put fact checks on a TV screen, what is the most effective way to do that? There has been a fair amount of research into the impact of fact-checking done by Brendan Nyhan and some other great academics, but there has been hardly any at what happens when you put fact-checks on a TV screen. So we hired a UX firm in Seattle called Blink, um, and we brought in people to sit on this red couch and look at a edited version of State of the Union addresses and help us figure out the best way to put fact checks on the screen. Uh, we did this back in, uh, in the fall and it was really revealing, but uh, it revealed some things we need to do, but it also revealed 
This is really complicated, and we're going to have to spend a lot of energy looking into this because putting fact checks on a screen is complicated, particularly because we are finding related fact checks from the past, putting them up almost like annotation, like pop-up videos, if you think of those pop-up videos that we used to watch on VH1. Um, and we have to give the viewers enough information to make sense of it. We have to do that quickly. We have to respect their time. But, we, um, but if they're watching it on a television, that's not a click-through experience. So this is hard. And we've realized we're going to have to put a lot of energy into this. Um, this is a quick look at how we manipulated where we put the fact checks on the screen. All right, I'm going to skip through and I'm going to tell you about squash. Squash. So one thing I learned working in the tech world, every product needs to have a cool code name. We decided to call ours squash. It's a nutritious vegetable. It's also a metaphor for what we want to do to falsehoods. Um, we, uh, the, the idea behind squash is simple. It is to take what people are saying, convert it to text, match the text against claim review, the secret sauce, find related fact checks, and pop them up on the screen. Simple, right? Eh, if only. Um, so we spent last summer, we had a very talented group of Duke students um, that uh, worked out a, a framework for us. Step one was figure out what's the best voice to text to use. They decided to use Google Cloud. Their reasoning was Google Cloud did the best job of putting periods at the end of sentences. Um, that's critical because then we submit those sentences to our database of claim review fact checks and Google Cloud was better at that than the other uh, voice to text programs. Also, Google Cloud allowed us to submit uh, bits of audio in an ongoing basis during a live event. Um, then we run the text through ClaimBuster, this wonderful algorithm developed with UT Arlington, and that acts as a course filter that filters out the, uh, the sentences that are not likely to be factual claims, and it, and it reduces the number of queries we make against our database. Then, and this is the hard part, the, what algorithm are we going to use to do the searching of our claim review database and how quickly can we do that? When our students did it, they thought it might take minutes. Um, and so we were thinking that our product was going to be buffered. You would watch squash on the web. It would be buffered. You would have like a two-minute delay. Um, but you would get an enhanced product that would have fact checks pop up. So, um, all right, I only have two minutes, so I'm going to play this clip real fast. Um, this is um, an edited version of what we saw during the State of the Union. So during the State of the Union, it was a terrible night. It was a wonderful night. Terrible because Factstream crashed. I was dropping F-bombs. I look over at the screen, and fact checks are popping up on the screen. It was amazing. It was one of those moments in your life where you think, I am seeing the future. This is what it's going to work like. Um, it was so cool. So we had, I'll show you, well, let me show you this clip just so you can see what it was like. So this is edited. So the, when we did a State of the Union, it was out of sync. We've re-edited it so it's in sync. Hopefully the audio. In the last two years, our brave ICE officers made 266,000 arrests of criminal aliens, including those charged or convicted of nearly 100,000 assaults, 30,000 sex crimes, and 4,000 killings or murders. We are just... Wow. So this is what it actually looked like on State of the Union night. It detected what he was saying, and it matched it against a fact check that PolitiFact had done one month earlier that was very similar because politicians repeat their lines. And you can see there's PolitiFact's conclusion that Trump was inflating the numbers. This was so cool. Um, and that is, you know, what I think the future will look like in some way. So, really cool, you know, we're high-fiving. Um, all of the problems that we've had with Factstream have faded into the distance. Um, 
we, we got during that night six relevant matches, so pretty good. Um, our pipeline worked. Pipeline is how we describe the process of doing this. The matches were instant. It was so cool. However, um, here's a spreadsheet that shows the matches. Um, we also had 14 matches that were not good, including some that were comically bad. So let me just tell you, here's the, f the top one. So what our voice to text detected, pretty close to what Trump said. We also celebrate 50 years since brave young pilots flew a quarter of a million miles through space to play on the face of the moon. That's what Trump said. Um, and, and Squash matched that with a fact check about getting a permit to build a road. <laughs> so eh, there's some room for improvement. Um, so anyway, this is what development looks like. And this is how you invent things. Um, we're so excited to be doing this um, and be happy to talk about it more. I want to bring up the rest of the group.